Helping still tonight after decades behind bars. Gerald Reed is now free. He was embraced by his mother who fought for years to have him released. Reed claims he was tortured by police into confessing to a double murder he says he did not commit. WGN's Rob Snead is live now with more. Rob? Tonight, uh, Reed's lawyer told me that he's not doing anything special, just spending time with his family, catching up, and working on clearing his name. Us to hug each other, to kiss each other on the jaw, and to tell him how much I love him and how much I've missed him and what a joy it's going to be to have him here with us. This is a day Gerald Reed and his family prayed for. If it weren't for God, I couldn't do it. Now listen. He gave me the strength. WGN News was the first to find out that Governor Pritzker commuted Reed's life sentence to time served. Reed's lawyers asked for an outright pardon, but the governor didn't go that far. Without the confession, there would be no case here. Reed confessed to murdering 58-year-old Willie Williams and 29-year-old Pamela Powers in 1990. Reed says he was forced into making that confession. Reed, jail, Reed! Activists from all over took an interest in Reed's case, saying he was a victim of police brutality. In 2018, a judge threw out his confession saying he was a victim of police torture under now disgraced former police commander John Burge. Not only was the confession bogus and tortured, but that other uh, involvements of these detectives were also uh, resulted in uh, coercion and just phony testimony, which got him there took 30 years of his life. But now that's changed. He can hug his mom and he can thank his supporters in person. He sobbed. We were all sobbing. It was um, a really emotional and cathartic and joyful moment. And tonight, the victims' families, they spoke out. They said that they believe that there is enough evidence to suggest that uh, Reed is indeed guilty and they are not happy. Reporting live in Chicago. Rob Sneed, WGN News.